Let's get back to Marvel, though. WandaVision. I got the trailer for that. I haven't watched it yet. Let's go ahead and cue that up. rattling around this big house. Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man, a human one. One. What's it think? I'm not Want to sleep out the <gasps> We are an unusual couple. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. We just don't know what to expect. watch that just because it looks freaking weird um I have no idea what that's about seems like she's in kind of a simulation obviously I just like I like uh what's her name Elizabeth Olsen though oh my god she is so freaking fun I mean, wow, she's just stunning. Uh, uh. So the show, women. So she's in the fifties here, and then like she, it's like she's in the sixties. Got the afros. Brady Bunch type of 70s thing, big collars. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna totally watch it just because it's it's weird. And I like weird. But I have no idea what that's about. Let's watch Loki. Why not? Let me just stop it for right. I totally called that when um, me and Curtis did a review of Endgame. I totally said that's a setup for that new series. Totally right there. I think I said, oh yeah, he and he transported away to his new series or something, something like that. Taking me somewhere to kill me. No, I'm taking you someplace to talk. Where I lie, I don't like to talk. But you do like to lie, which you just did. Because we both know you love to talk. Talky, talky. How long have you been here? I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, time passes differently here in the TVA. What does that mean? You'll catch up.
glorious. It actually looks pretty good. I <laughs> that actually looks pretty damn good. Uh, I saw someplace. I think I saw Black Widow though. This is different. You catch she... Glorious. Okay, so this TV, what do you call it, TVA, Owen Wilson? There's supposed to be some time travel uh, corp, uh, agency, kind of like that agency in, what's that show? Oh, God, my brain is not working. I usually need two cups of coffee before my brain works. The Umbrella Academy. Um I guess it's some time travel uh, bureau thing. And of course, he's going to escape at some point. There, right there. That's freaking Black Widow. Holy crap. Is this going to be a way for them to kind of like bring her back? he like save her? Or is like she in the underworld or something? And what is this? This is like New York has been destroyed by something. Okay, so here's my theory. He gets... So in the end game, they went back in time through a series of mishaps. He got the time stone the tesseract not the, not the time stone the tesseract he got the tesseract and he was able to transport somewhere um i don't see why would the time this time bureau be after him though he didn't get the time stone he got the tesseract somehow he did something maybe he used the, the tesseract to go back in time and he Disrupted time so that maybe New York got destroyed and he got arrested by the Time Bureau and now he's working for them and he has to go back and fix this stuff or something. And why, okay, and I, I read something about this. He's dressed up as that guy who did that hijacking. Oh God, what was it, what was it called? D.B. Cooper. So this explains, because they never found, D.B. Cooper is a, some guy, I think it was in California. He hijacked a plane and he, he, he had some parachutes delivered to him or something. How did it go? I forget the whole story. But he hijacked this plane with a bunch of money and then he, Parachuted from the plane and they've never been able to figure out who he was because they, they never recovered. They think he died uh, when he crashed down, but no one has been able to prove it. They did find some of the money um, a few years back, 
And so they think he did die. I think he, he landed in a swamp or something. So they think that they do think he that he died in the process of this hijacking, but they've never been able to prove it. It's one of those unsolved mi mysteries like, you know, Jimmy Hoffa or whatnot. So this is how they're going to be able to explain the, the whole D.B. Cooper thing with uh, Loki being D.B. Cooper. Because he jumps out of the plane, as you see here. Brother, I'm down. Who was that with the freaking hammer? Brother. Oh my god, I can't. I just hate YouTube for this reason. You can't just like. Okay, so there's a guy, some guy, okay, it's not Thor, obviously, it's a black guy with a hammer. Is it D-Hammer, though? I'm down. You better be ready. And I think this is some kind of, Loki had a comic book, didn't he? I think this is, has something to do with, because uh, I remember seeing him have, he's running for office or president or something. I remember seeing that from a comic book image or still. So, hmm. The Marvel shows are actually looking pretty good, except for this next one. Um. Oh, I thought I had it queued up. I guess I didn't. Uh, let me see. It was, and I've already watched The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm not, okay, let me just watch it first. The legacy of that shield is complicated. something to get behind. They need the symbol. So what's our plan? So no plan. cyborg brain of yours you don't want to know oh yeah i can see it working gears turning oh they're malfunctioning they're on fire god i hate you okay i'm not feeling this one that shield Who's this bad guy? This stupid ass mask. I'm not feeling it. Totally not feeling it. I'm gonna watch it, don't get me wrong, but. How did they get all these actors to agree to do these television series though? Be one thing if it was a, a, a movie. The Falcon and Winter Soldier would have been a great 
title for a movie. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to see a series. Disney is actually asking for a lot of commitment, and all their new shows seem to be aimed at teenage boys. <laughs> 